Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is a big uh, cherry live edge bowl and uh, I will finish it off with uh, Danish oil finish where I get the Danish oil to appear like a glass like coat or glass like finish on the bowl. So hope you enjoyed the video. I apparently need a bigger lathe, but uh, I don't think the wife uh, agrees. Even though I, s I semi rounded off the blank, it was uh, still very unstable and I couldn't get the RPM up to more than uh, 250. It was uh, very wobbly and uh, my lathe is not that heavy, so uh, it took some time to, to get the speed up. I'm just making the shape uh, of the ball uh, and at the same time try to uh, round it off uh, so it's a little more stable on the lathe but it's still uh, very heavy in one side because of the shape on the, on the back side but I managed to take up the RPM uh, another hundred it turns out that uh, actually right under the bark in the sap wood, wood uh, there was some punky areas. I don't know if it was a kind of fungus or what it was. It was uh, all white and uh, very soft, uh, but uh, it was uh, hard to get a clean cut on that. It was uh, tearing out. I changed to my 13mm uh, or half inch ball garth. It has uh, another grind, so I hope I can uh, remove some of the tear out uh, maybe with this. And at the same time, I'm uh, shaping the foot uh, and preparing the tenon for chugging up later. was helping a lot on the tear out so I was uh, happy about that and I uh, didn't have to go in a sanding marathon to, to get some pungy area down so that was nice. Just doing the final shaving on the outside and then I will sand it and uh, start on the inside of the wall. I'm drilling out the uh, inside with a uh, Forstner bit. It was uh, 35mm, I think. I have uh, 250 RPM to not heat up the Forstner bit. I've uh, removed a lot of the weight, so now I got it up to uh, s around 600 rpm uh, but it's still uh, very heavy in one side and uh, off balance uh, so the lathe is still wobbling a little. I had to change the angle to to get the rest in a better position and uh, I used my extension to uh, to get in and get a shorter overhang on my ball gouge.
had to put a new edge on the ball ground. It was getting a little dull. Um, off camera, I actually sharpened uh, two more times uh, during uh, the making of this bow. I wanted to uh, try and make the bowl a little uh, thinner than uh, it is right now and um, I tried to uh, crank up the RPM so I started up at uh, 900. I got a little wobble but i uh, been taking off so much uh, material so it was uh, quite little now. I am uh, happy about the thickness uh, of the bowl and uh, just uh, finishing off the, the bottom of the, of the bowl here. Uh, I will uh, use my uh, negative brake scraper a little and uh, I got it off the side and it uh, actually got uh, some tear out that I had to take care of with the bowl guard as you see here in a bit. If you are a woodturner and haven't used a negative brake scraper before, I can definitely uh, recommend it. It's very easy to use and you don't get catches and you can present it almost however you like uh, to the wood without anything happening. And give a nice uh, cut uh, when you, when you uh, sharpen it right. I'm just cleaning up the little tear out it gave on the upper part of the wings of the ball. And I'm actually ending up uh, going all the way, but uh, the fresh uh, sharpened gout uh, made a nice finish uh, without uh, tear out, so that was, uh, that was good. Just uh, cleaning out the edge for some uh, little bark that hasn't uh, been cut quite off. And while I do that, uh, the sun is uh, cleaning up a little. He is uh, very fond of the suction system so we can use a lot of time putting in uh, chips in the, in the floor system I sanded the piece from grid uh, 80 to 400 and after that I used the denatured alcohol to clean it out and the uh, sanding sealer and abrasive paste before applying the Danish oil finish. Here I'm starting the process with the Danish oil to get a glass-like uh, finish. Uh, the, the trick is to put as much oil on as the, um, as the surface uh, tension can uh, carry and then uh, put it on with a brush instead of a cloth or paper towel. Then when you've put on the first um, coat and let it uh, harden, you um, 
you have to sand it down to get any uh, grain or, or stuff that is sticking out uh, away. And then you give it three coats and uh, right away you, you give, it, give it one coat and then heat it up a little so the surface is a little sticky and then you give it a coat more and again a coat more heat up and a coat more. And then you let it harden and you have to take it over with the sandpaper again and then uh, do that process uh, three times so uh, ten coats all in all. I stopped this video after the seventh uh, coat so already there you can start uh, seeing the, the finish is, uh, is getting glass like appearance. And one thing is that when the Danish oil is uh, hardening up uh, at least the first hour or so uh, you should um, let the lathe run in a slow speed so you don't get the uh, drips uh, on the lower end of the, of the finish. It will uh, run down the sides and that doesn't look very well. And remember Danish oil like many of the oils we use uh, have uh, the capability of self-igniting uh, paper towels and cloth and stuff like that by heating up itself. So remember to put it in a airtight uh, container that can uh, take the heat, flash your or something like that. Here you can uh, see the finish uh, up close and see that uh, it put on uh, like a glass over the over the wood. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, please uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, like the video if uh, you do like what you uh, what you saw. And uh, please uh, comment below. That would uh, greatly help my uh, channel grow. Stay safe out there and have a great day.